We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the New York Yankees and the Texas Rangers. Now, if you love good pitching, this one's for you. First pitch is coming up. Corey Kluber will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been like white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. Now at the plate, Brett Gardner. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Brett Gardner. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Underway here in the Monday opener as the game's first pitch misses for ball one. And fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. They come in playing well. Six and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory last time out. Yeah, Matty, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game. They scored a bunch of runs. And let's see if they continue that today. One and one the count. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. Wow third pitch of the game that looked like a pretty good pitch. If that's called a ball it could be a rough night for the pitchers tonight. Fouled away. Temperature was in the 70s earlier today but 59 at game time tonight. Still two and two. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's check swing. It's not a great angle, and everything happens so quickly, so they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so that's a tip of the cap for the blue. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. And set up behind the plate, Rusty Valentine, as you see the rest of the umpiring crew for this one. Dan, Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north-south without question. Letters to knees. Well, I tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above, he'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Called strike two on the cutter, and he's behind in the count now, one and two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Bases are empty, one man out. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. And he won't go after the cut fastball, two and two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Swinging the ball line softly down the line and left. But foul. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Gallo is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judd. Now in the box, Aaron Judge. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Now a ball hit the center field and deep. Back goes the center fielder way back, and that ball is gone. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. Home run number five on the year as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that they take the lead. So now to the plate, Gary Sanchez. Gary. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. One and two to the Yankees catcher. That's why this guy is great. Never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff, but pinpoint control to all four quadrants. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. The Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. On to the bottom of the first, New York off to a one nothing lead. Masahiro Tanaka gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Here's Elvis Andrus now. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes now to Andrus. Now the pitch. That's a ball. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, despite the loss last time out, they've been in a real good groove lately. Victorious in seven of their last nine. Yeah, Maddie, this team has been playing really well right now. And, and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another one nothing lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on the tack early offense. Uh, one sack as that ball is into the gap in right center. Should be good for at least two bases. And a good start to the inning for the Rangers. It's going to be a leadoff double. Now that's the way you answer. They're down one nothing already, but he laces the double and puts himself in the scoring position. That'll get the dugout fired up and excited to punch back. Shinsu Chu at the plate now and he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 0 home and he chased one there as this is bounced to short and there's one down now. Batting third. The designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He's set. Here it comes. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. A 
Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Lifted the other way out to left center. Gardner's after it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Batting four. The left fielder. Joey Gallo. Here's Joey Gallo now. In past meetings with Tanaka, he's just one for six. First delivery to him on the way. With runners in scoring position this season, Gallo averages a hit once every four at bats and average at exactly 250. Curveball close, but it's one and one. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. Andres stands at second with two gone. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Hit hard on the ground a second. Fielded cleanly, and the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Rangers leave one. They're on the short end of a one-to-nothing score. Standing in, Mike Talkman. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Mike Talkman. Here comes the first pitch. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1 and 0. Two and zero to the Yankees left fielder. Two zero to a guy with this kind of pop. You better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Now a cut fastball finds the target. Two and one. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane. As yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. Here now the 2-2. Hey, I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2-2 pitch, right? But that one was so low, I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. Fouled off. He'll try it again, 3-2. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. A ball and no strikes. Yankees lead this one to nothing here in inning number two. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for Elvis at short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Infielders are taught from the time they hold the glove that you've got to play the ball and not let the ball play you. You can see here that this one just ate him up and he couldn't recover in time. Runner at first following the error. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Mike Ford.
from the stretch. Runners on first with one down. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Batting it. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. From the belt, kicks and deals. A runner on first with two away. Here's a pop up now. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. The Yanks leave one. Who played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, so next to the plate for Texas, Danny Santana, and he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. First delivery to him on the way. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball one and one. We're right on but this is foul down toward the box at third. The one two. Again, he sends it out of play. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. And it's three balls and two strikes to the Rangers center fielder. The 3 2 pitch. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Well, there's only a one-run push in the play, but so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go-ahead run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. Digging in, Ronald Guzman. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First pitch of the at bat. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a throw over, and he'll dive back in. Oh, one, here's the pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. In there, a base hit. And that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about it right now. He's swinging the bat really well. And after that knock right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at. So you can say, hey, he's going to whole calendar week with getting at least one base hit. So there's a lot of positives going on right now.
First pitch on its way. Lays off 1 and 0. Swing and a miss. A little too anxious there. One and one. Has a look. Now the pitch. Slider, ho, oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. To the plate now, Robinson Chirinos. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. Batting nine, the second baseman, Rubner. Stepping oh, into the box, Rubner Odor, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First offering on its way. Second and third, two away. And it's quickly 0-2. Odor is a guy you have to keep an eye on in the batter's box. He's definitely been known to drop down a bunt from time to time. That's something he's really good at. And in today's game, Matty, this is such a lost art. I know you love this one. Guy. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Rangers leave a pair. They trail this one one to nothing. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. And he'll start out their half of the third. Top of the order to follow. Tyler Wade. Here's the first pitch to him. And he fouls this one off. Oh, 01 grounded down the third baseline but this will be a foul ball as he's behind Owen oh 2 now another one sent foul Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. I can't blame him one bit out on the mound. I'm shocked he didn't pick up the rosin bag and see if he could get a foul ball on that one. He had to see if he would swing way outside the zone. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Two two pitches fouled away. Now the pitch. Hey, this has been an epic at bat right here. I don't blame the pitcher for a little nibbling right there. Maybe get a swing and a miss. He didn't bite on that one, so now we go full count. 3 2 pitch. Hit down the line at first, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3 and 2. Another full count pitch on its way. 
And he finally puts him away here as he strikes him out after an 11 pitch at bat. And with that, let's take a moment to show you what's happening in the American League's Western Division. Brett Gardner. Here's Brett Gardner now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. And the pitch. Aye. One out, nobody on. On a line, that's a base hit. He'll get it into second. Throw won't get him. Now back. So a struggle that time for him in center field, and as a result, he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw gets him, two down. Now back, right fielder, Aaron. Yeah. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Aaron Judge. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, that Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. Men on third with two down. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. When hitters are able to lay off curveballs and get themselves into good counts because of it, you're in pretty big trouble as a pitcher. A lot of guys rely on their opponents offering at that pitch, even when it's not in a good location to hit. 3-0 Three. Three oh now. Not a good spot to be in right now. A pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two-out walk with the runner still at third. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that now last that pitch looked pretty that darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3-0, and though. You have to earn that spot. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Outside, that's the ball. One and oh, here it is. Big swing and a miss at the changeup, a ball and a strike. Runners at the corners, two men out. Takes this the other way to right. Chu is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Yanks strand a pair, but they're on top, one to nothing. Here's Elvis Andrus now to start the inning out. Matt Vaskersian, Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak with you in the booth for this one. And Here it comes now to Andrus. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. That evens it up one and one. Andrews playing here in his age 31 season. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Yeah, Maddie, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? Ouch, that one hit him. Well, this home crowd didn't like this guy in the mound before, but now they oh, really the don't like him. He's the gotten the faithful all worked up by hitting one of their best hitters early on in this game. And you can bet he's really going to hear it if he comes around to score. Striding in once again, Shinsu Chu. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. 
Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation, I'd expect a hitter to be sitting off speed. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. From the stretch. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. Torres at the bag. But no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Yeah, choppers like that make it really tough. You can't make the ball get to you much faster. So the key is making sure you field it cleanly and at least get one, which they did there. To the plate now for Texas is the D.H. Willie Calhoun. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First offering on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Comes set and the 0 1. In the dirt here. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to 1 and 1. As a look, now the pitch. A line shot to third base, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Now batting, the left fielder, Joey Gallo. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the first pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. 2 and 0 oh pitch on the way. And he gets this fastball over. It's 2 and 1. Three and one now, and I think he wanted to know where that one was. Two out with the man at first. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Got him swinging on the splitter that time. And with that, the side is retired. One left for Texas. They still trail 1-0. Welcome back to Arlington. Before we get much further, let's check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Thank you, Heidi. All set for the start of the fourth. At really the plate, awesome. Mike Talkman. He was a strikeout field. victim in his first Mike. try. Talk. Now here's the pitch. Ball, that's in. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Now the one and one pitch.
And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a now pitch right there. You can't up. spot a sinker Neighbor. in a better location because Four. even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that. Textbook sinker. Into the box now, Torres. As he'll take a look at a curveball that drops in there on the outer half. It's strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ball one. And there's ball one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, one, one, he's got a chance to really do some damage. One run, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And the pitch. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Pitch on the way. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. He's got it. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now that is the first base. Mike. Four. Digging in, Mike Ford comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here comes the first pitch. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Ford, playing here in his age 26 season, he's a second year big leaguer. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. They lead it one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Danny Santana, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at one. Right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now that first baseman, Ronald Guzman. Into the box now, Ronald Guzman. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Now batted. Third base so bases are empty here with two gone and standing in a power threat in Todd Frazier the third baseman infield in the overshift here now the pitch swung on and missed it's 0 and 1 Frazier 
playing here in his age 34 season. He was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They're down one nothing. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He'll start off the fifth in this one. The third baseman, Miguel. First pitch on its way. Oh. Ball one, no strike. Now the 1-0. -oh. Ball two. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. In there, two and one. All even now, two and two. Down the left field line and deep. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Sent on the ground out to second. A door is there. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The batter number 40, second baseman, Tyler Wade. In now, Tyler Wade. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. So the intent of that 0 2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact, he probably can't do anything with it anyway. Easy take there on the sinker, well off the outside. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball, and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end, and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher, able to pound a zone with all different options. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. 
and he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. But they're up one to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And one thing he stressed to me was the need for them to have better at-bats when they've got runners on base. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with a big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through Lead sooner or later. The Rangers. Thank you, Heidi. The catcher. First offering on its way. Strike one to start the at bat. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 2 now. One and two to the Rangers catcher. Ground ball right into the shift. Enduhar fields it cleanly. And there's one away. Now back, second baseman. Good down. Oh, goal. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the second baseman, Rugnit Odor. Here's the first pitch to him. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. This at bat sets up really good right here, right? Hasn't seen a fastball yet, but now he gets to count at two balls and no strikes. He has to be looking for a fastball right here. Three and zero to him now. Now here's the pitch. Oh my! This ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? And it's gone. A solo shot here for Rugnit Odor. Home run number three here in the early going. And the Rangers have drawn even now at one apiece. I know all home runs count the same, but that one went a little bit farther than most. That's what he does. A power hitter with a challenge fastball is going to go a long way when he's on his game. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Last time up he was hit by a pitch. The 1 0. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gardner is there. Two gone. Up next for the Rangers, the right fielder, Jim Tzu Chu. Up next for the Rangers, Shin Tzu Chu. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Tanaka into his motion. First pitch on the way. Aye. One run on three hits and two errors for the Rangers to this point. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. No 
And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0-2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at 3-2. and two. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. Now about it. Oh man, that check swing was about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time, and he draws the walk. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. Set. Now the pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Lifted the other way out to left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. But the Rangers battle back to tie things up on this solo home run. Through five innings, all even now at 1 1. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Next will be the designated hitter, DJ LeMayhew. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here, similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it elevated just a little bit more. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. The 1-0. Is laid off for ball two. Three and oh now. Got through the fifth all right, but it looks like he's a little off kilter here to start the sixth. Here's the pitch. A strike and it's three and one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Santana has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. First pitch coming, here it is. Now the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. 
And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Well, pitching domination continues. Just a total of two runs on the now board. Back. So yeah. both of these starters Here should feel really good yeah. about their showings. If you love good pitching, this has been the game for you. At the plate now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a look at ball one. No hits to this point. The 1 0. Hit on the ground toward the left. There is Andrus. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. Score remains tied 1 to 1. Ready for another shot now. Joey Gallo will be the one to lead off against Masahiro Tanaka. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0 and 1. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. At the plate, Danny Santana. As Tanaka jumps ahead of him here at strike one. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The 0-1. And it's one and one. And this one's high and tight, backing him up two and one. Nip the corner, two and two. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for out number two. Now Digging back. in to try it again. Ronald three. Guzman. One Ronald. for two on his line so far Good in the game. Ball. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Nope. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Oh. Oh. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Now the 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Two out, nobody on. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Yeah, this one was starting to look like it was going to be one of those one, two, three easy innings. But now all of a sudden, they have the go-ahead run standing out there at second base after the two-out double. Big moment here. Here's Todd Frazier now, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Oh. Ball two. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat 
trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Called a strike on the outside corner, 2-1. and one. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Pulled high in the air out to left field. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. On to the back third tonight. Stick around on the show. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mike Talkman. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Cut fastball taken for strike one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The wind-up and the 0-1. Well, pitch count will become a factor here in the seventh. He's about to hit 100 for the game. Yeah, Matty B, that magic number in today's game is about 100 pitches, and this next pitch will be pitch number 100. Dero, he's been sailing along pretty easily so far in this one. Yeah, they've, he's given him some serious depth in this one. For him to get into the seventh inning allows the manager a lot of leeway, whether he wants to go to his bullpen or not. In comes the left fielder. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the now inning. The shortstop, Labor Toro. Digging in once again, Torres. He was a ground out victim last time up. First delivery to him on the way. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. and It's really hard to work deep in the games when you're having an outing like this guy is. You're going to strike out a lot of guys? Well, guess what? Your pitch count's going to go up, too. The 1-0 and delivery. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped him up. Frazier over to his right. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batter, the first baseman, Mike Ford. So stepping in, Mike Ford. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Popped up. Just foul. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit sharply on the ground, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Throw into second, and he's safe. So a struggle that time for him in center field, and as a result, he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. The batter number 14, second base. Riding in, Tyler Wade. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat. 
Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now sure would be a good time. He set the 0-1. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Called strike on the sinker, two and two now. Two and two. Here it is. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas, so. When you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. He pulls into second safely as a run is also in, and with it, they take the lead. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. Ranger Skipper is up off his seat in the dugout now to make the walk to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. Your attention, please. Not an altogether bad performance here. Six and two thirds, but he stands to be the loser unless things can turn around. Allen. Into the box, Brett Gardner. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Allen is a fairly prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff that results in a lot of strikeouts, and that clearly helps him through the tough spots like the one he finds himself in here. Matty V, let me tell you something. What makes this guy so special? He's like his own relief pitcher for a relief pitcher. He gets into trouble. What does he do? He kind of puts it in fifth gear and he just takes it up another notch. Not a lot of guys can do what this guy does. He can pitch in a couple of different gears, and when he puts that thing in full drive, he's nearly impossible to make contact off of. Up high, two and one now. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And ooh, that strike zone's getting a little inconsistent now. It's two and two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. The two two pitch. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Runners at second and third with two gone. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Yankee strike for a run on the RBI double. Get up and stretch. Home half of the seventh coming up. Two to one New York. Now at the plate, Robinson Chirinos. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And that fastball's taken, but catches the outer third. 
Double-barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0 and 2. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning, it's so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. Here's Rogne Odor now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Fouled away. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. As we look at the numbers, we can see that he's Somebody. north of 90 Number pitches ball. right now. So it's not surprising to see him maybe losing a little bit of command. We'll see if he can battle through this and finish strong. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Zach Britton takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Zach Britton. Elvis Andrews will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Here it comes now to Andrews. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Britain. A six foot three inch left hander. This is his 10th season at the major league level, so almost a decade, which is quite an accomplishment. Ball and two strikes to the Rangers shortstop. Wow, I want that one if I'm on the bump. But let's be real, I want all the close ones. Still one and two as he fouls it away. So look now the pitch. That's both. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. That's a big strike out there with the tying run oh, over at first base. Now, like with two you. outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance.
Standing in now, Shinsu Chu. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Rangers leave one. Our score remains two to one. Second baseman D.J. LeMahieu. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch coming. Here it is. A high fastball is in there. Some movement now in that Texas bullpen as a left-hander starts to get cranking down there. Popped him up. Guzman moving to his left. He's got it one away. The right fielder. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Aaron Judge will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. Pitch on the way. First pitch is a sinker for a called strike one. Hits are now even at four apiece. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Now the one and one pitch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here's the pitch on two and two. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. To the plate now, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1 0 home. Misses ball two. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters' counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hey. Our pitcher's duel continues here. 2 to 1 score as we play the eighth. Fouled off. Ready with another 2 2. 
Full count. Three and two. Mike Talkman would be next. Another full count pitch on its way. And this one misses for ball four. And the Yankees get a base runner here with two away. Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch that good, you have to wonder if maybe it's personal. You can't blame him for being angry, but he's got to find a way to move on and focus on the next batter. At the plate, Mike Talkman, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. A runner on first with two away. Grounded up the first baseline. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Yankees are out in front, two to one. Aroldis Chapman is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. Here's the pitch. Sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Into the box now, Joey Gallo. Lefty versus lefty, and the first pitch misses for ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now the 1-0 is taken for ball two. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Hit sharply toward the right side. And that'll make him one for four in this one. The bat, the center fielder, Danny Santana. At the plate now, Danny Santana as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. Chapman. Nicknamed the Missile for obvious reasons. He's in year one of a new three-year deal.
One out, one on in a one-run game. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Racing back the right fielder. It's gone. They've taken the lead in the eighth. Two run blast to straight away right field. As they've taken the lead, it's now three to two. What a momentum shift right there. Now the visitors are down there. Final three outs. You can bring your big boy in to close this one out. Jonathan Holder answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Jonathan Holder. Stepping in now, now Ronald back. Guzman. The as he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. Holder, originally from Mississippi, he was taken in the sixth round during the 2014 draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Ah, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Still only one out in the inning. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. In now, Todd Frazier. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now, nothing in two. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up. Off balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. But two here in the Rangers half of the inning, and they come on this two-run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Bombers. It's now a 3-2 Ranger lead. Jose LeClerc comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 25, Jose. And now batting, Torres. Leading off of the game, the football, Labor Torres. Here comes the first pitch. Hey, love the pitcher attacking the zone right here. He knows he's got a patient hitter at the plate. Might as well steal that first strike. I'm set with the 0 and 1. Ball at the side. Come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Two and two. 
hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And it's fouled away. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You could just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. Gio Urshela will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Gio Urshela. High strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And he falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch fouled away. The next 0 2. One run game here in the top of the ninth. A little low, it's two and two. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. Fouled off. The 2-2 one more time. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get in auto swing mode. You still have to control the strike zone. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Chu has a read on it. Two gone. Now batter, third baseman, Miguel, and Duhal. The Yankees down to their final out, and striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel and Duhar. From the stretch, here's the pitch. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1-0. Good slider there gets a swing and miss. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Last chance for the Yankees. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And that'll be the one that ends it. And the Rangers have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Yeah, and the home crowd is loving it as they jumped out in front in the bottom of the eighth, and they did what they had to do in the ninth to seal the deal. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Texas Rangers get the win despite three errors in the field. Cody Allen claims the win out of the pen his first. Jose LeClerc wraps it up for the save, his fourth of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.